In this challenge problem, we have two linear equations, both of slope 3. And so those, these are two parallel lines. And we are going to find the shortest distance between the two lines. So firstly, we need to understand that the shortest distance between the two lines is going to be the line that connects those two at 90 degrees to each other. Okay, so those angles are going to be 90 degrees. And that represents the shortest distance between those two lines. So how are we going to find this shortest distance between these two lines? Okay, so we're going to find distances on the plane. So distances on the plane are really easy when we find them either horizontally, so for example, the distance from here to here, horizontally, So if we want to find that distance horizontally, or if we want to find a distance vertically. Okay, so this distance here vertically, we can just count along the axes. We can find just subtract the, the x coordinates and the y coordinates and find those vertical distances and horizontal distances. What's more difficult is finding this diagonal distance. So we're going to attempt to find that diagonal distance, and we're going to do this by using this property that we just talked about of using this similar triangle when we split up the similar triangle. So we split up this right triangle to generate similar triangles. Now to do this, we want to highlight this triangle that we're going to get here. Okay, that triangle, we know that the base of that triangle is going to be 3. Okay, that's going to be the distances. We can say that's the distance between the two roots. We can just count. There's lots of ways we can do this. We can use a couple coordinates to do that. But the horizontal distance between those two lines is going to be 3. The vertical distance, we're going to say, just we can count along the y-axis. But we can say that the vertical distance along here is going to be 9. Okay. If we take a look at our equations, we can actually just subtract the y-intercepts. So plus 6 minus negative 3 gives us positive 9. So we have the horizontal and vertical distance of that triangle. We also want to use the hypotenuse. So using Pythagoras, I'm going to do 3 squared plus 9 squared is 90. And so the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse, is a square root 90 in length. So there's our right triangle. We have all three sides of the right triangle. And what we're going to do then is we're going to draw from the hypotenuse at 90 degrees, we're going to draw a perpendicular line. Okay, And that perpendicular green line is going to be the distance between those two lines, and not only that, the shortest distance between those two lines. So when we do this, we can then just kind of work out the side. So I'm just going to highlight a little blue triangle here. Okay, And that blue, that one, in fact, I'm going to keep that side green so that we and see that the green side that we're working with. Okay, so we have that triangle. And I'm just drawing gonna draw that triangle in this way here. Actually I should make sure that we're clear that the hypotenuse is gonna be blue. And the side that we're solving for, we're going to call D, it's going to be this green side. We're going to call that D. Okay, and we have also the big triangle. I'm going to line on side, so that's going to be a length of 3, a length of 9. And this length here is going to be square root 90. 
and we know that these sides relate to each other. In fact, we know that we have this length here of 3, we have this length of d, which we're trying to find, and we can just set up a ratio to solve this problem. I know that d over 3, I compare the side d to side 3, that's going to be the same as comparing 9 9, the horizontal length, to the hypotenuse length of root 90. Solving for d, I get 27 over root 90. That will simplify to, when I factor out the 3 in the denominator, okay, that becomes 3 root 10 over 27. And so we end up with 9 over square root 10 as our length. So we can figure out that length based on the similar triangle property by finding, by drawing that perpendicular line which we want as our distance and generating the similar triangles in that diagram.